some broccoli calabrese seeds that I put in a wet paper towel in a closed Ziploc baggie like this. And I did this two nights ago and it's now noon, two days later, and they are already sprouting. See, it's beautiful. So it looks like they've all almost sprouted. So I'm gonna plant these and then let's see. Oh, let me show you the lettuce. Oh, sorry, celery. Let me show you the celery. So I uh, put this in water. You see how high the water is? Um, you know, I used this the other night, so I put it in water, and you know, at the same time I did those seeds, and it has already gone up this much. So I'll say about I don't know, like inch, inch, yeah, about an inch. So here I have Master Chef lettuce. This is not very easy to do. Okay, there we go. It's not easy to do with one hand. So I have Master Chef lettuce that was in a closed bag. Because some of them I did open. See, like that? That's open. I didn't open that. Um, I saw on a video a gentleman uh, said that it would be best to do one piece of paper, one piece of paper towel, like so. See, thank um, you. Do one. See, thin piece of paper towel like so, and you want the seeds facing towards the ground because they uh, know gravity, I guess, and so they're going to go whichever way. And he said this will minimize the, um, the problem of having to pick them out of the paper towel. As you can see, I did these same time as the broccoli, Master Chef Lettuce, and wait... Yeah, Master Chef Lettuce, and they are ready to be planted also. See? Okay. Now, this Master Chef that I'm looking at um, was in two paper towels. So, yeah, it looks like we have some decent sprouts also. Not as many, I guess, but still sprouts. I've gotten a lot better than just putting it in the soil. <laughs> okay, so here I have... Cat. <sighs> Sorry about that, my cat keeps going outside. Anyway, so back to what I was doing. Um, here I have Cauliflower Snowball. I'm playing it on 1023, and it's at night and it's 1025 or October 25th at 12. Um, see this one was open. I have just the one layer facing and the seeds are facing down and the paper towels on top like so. And we have one, one, two starting to sprout. So I kept it pretty moist. I didn't keep it super moist, but anyway, so I'll let that keep going. Um, let's check this one. Okay, so here we have a cauliflower snowball with a folded paper towel, and it looks like it did almost the exact same. And it was closed, that's why I had to pause it. So here I have a closed broccoli. I'm sorry, ugh, cauliflower. Sorry. <laughs> um, with one sheet of paper towel on top. 
but this one was closed and it looks like it is germinating much faster, much, much faster. See? So what I actually did was I, um, I actually let it go one whole day without watering it. You know, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. And I put them in, um, I put them in, uh, a drawer. A closed drawer where it's not lit. Kept it in my house. Um, they're about, it, in my house, it's about 75. Um, I mean, it feels amazing outside, but. That's about the temperature it is in the house. So, anyways, um, I put them in that drawer. And for the first whole day, I didn't touch them. I didn't move them. I didn't wet them. But yesterday, about noon, about the same time yesterday, I actually sprayed them with a water bottle. Um, so, here's more cauliflower. This one was opened and it was folded. So, like we got one good sprout... Yeah, it looks like we got one good sprout that I need to get out. Again, sorry, this is my first, um, you know, video for the, I guess you could say vlog. <laughs> um, so, my thoughts are kind of jumbled. So, if you didn't catch that, what I did was, some of these I put in folded paper towels wet it, put it in the bag, some of them I closed, some of them I left open, some of them I used only one thin sheet, nothing folded, so, looks like I have a lot to do today, what are, this is, Scarlet carrot. Not doing much of anything, actually. So. Put that with a cauliflower. Looks the same. Carrot, not much going on. And those are on just the single sheets because it was easy to see. So let me actually open these. 